Thank you for having me. In my talk, I'd like to introduce you to the work that we're doing at my Forever Healthy Foundation. Um, Forever Healthy is a private, non-profit initiative. Our goal is uh, to enable people to vastly extend their healthy lifespan and uh, uh, to uh, um, enable them to be part of the first generation that has aging under full medical control. So uh, the big picture we are operating under is that we imagine uh, we want to immediately improve our health and well-being. Um, we want to directly reverse um, uh, chronic diseases. Uh, we'd like to be uh, as healthy at the age of 70 as we were at, at the age of 30. Um, we want to stay free of the, age, uh, of the diseases of aging for all of our lives, and we'd like to extend our youthful lifespan for decades or even hundreds of years. So uh, the great news is, and we are part, all part of this, is there's a, 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 a still silent revolution that's getting a bit noisier, but day by day, going on right now. Uh, in fact, the world has started uh, the transition from uh, uh, a world where we were totally helpless about age-related diseases in our aging process to one where we have aging under full medical control. Of course, we are not there yet, but the groundwork has been done. Thanks to Aubrey, for example, the, 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 the sense, sense paradigm, um, the research is accelerating uh, and drugs and therapies are under development for the first line uh, of treatments. And the first generation of uh, um, uh, treatments is already available today. So to me and a lot of others and probably a lot of people in this room, it's not a, not a matter of if anymore, but when this is going to happen. Um, so the big question is, um, how do we make it happen for us? So our, um, our approach is, um, we want to accelerate the future. Uh, and I'd like to introduce you to the three main initiatives that we are uh, running at Forever Healthy. Um, first of all, you might have heard of that, that's the Undoing Aging Conference in Berlin that we uh, um, hold together with the Sense Research Foundation and Aubrey de Grey. Um, the conference is 100% focused on actual rejuvenation therapies uh, for human use. Um, we bring together science, startups and investors and the media um, uh, every year. It's an annual conference in Berlin. Um, uh, this year was the second time that we held the conference. We were really happy. We were sold out. We had uh, more than 500 participants. And for the next year we are moving to a larger venue um, to accommodate the growth. Uh, information, you can find it under undoingaging.org. Um, Oliver already mentioned it. Um, our second initiative is uh, supporting startups. Uh, that are startups that translate uh, research uh, into human uh, therapies. Uh, we provide mentoring and financing. Currently, we are uh, supporting 11 startups, public, and three more uh, that are in stealths. Um, the startups are dealing with senolytics, tissue regeneration, GDF11, macular degeneration, amongst others. Um, our biggest and, and uh, latest initiative uh, is called Rejuvenation Now. And this is where the foundation really focuses uh, its energy on. Um, matter of fact, the first generation of uh, therapies are already available today. Uh, three classes of therapies, um, gyro protectors, compensatory treatment that compensates things that go down with age, you lift them up to a youthful level, and uh, third category, molecular cellular repair like senolytics. Um, the actual therapies, mTOR inhibitors, AMPK activators, NAD plus restoration, senolytics such as desertinib, physetine, lipid replacement with, uh, with essential phospholipids, decalcification, and a lot more. So this is the good news. The not so good news is that we are currently facing more what I call a cowboy style market. So um, the services are really very much marketing driven. Um, there's virtually no transparency on the, uh, on the treatments that are offered. Um, there's no trusted source of information, uh, neither for MDs nor for their clients that they, that they can really rely on uh, whether this is a good treatment, whether the treatment should be done that way, and all that stuff. And from my experience, there's no focus in the early stages right now on risk and risk management. So people are applying therapies without really considering the risks and uh, how the risk could be mitigated. So risks by itself are, no, are nothing bad. Uh, you have risks everywhere in life, but you have to know them and you have to deal with them correctly. So um, 
our rejuvenation uh, now um, uh, initiative really sets out to change that. What we have done is, um, uh, took us some time, but now we have assembled uh, an internal team at Forever Healthy with really dedicated people, supported by a few external collaborators, and we came up with a four-stage process um, to clean uh, the situation up a bit. First of all, we have a backlog of um, the potential therapies that we are talking about or thinking about. Currently, we are uh, discussing more than 40 therapies internally. We have set up a collaboration space. We have in, uh, intense discussions going on. And uh, then we put one on the top of the backlog, and then we run through a three-stage process. First of all, uh, we do a detailed risk and benefit analysis uh, of, uh, of the potential therapy and also of the potential modes of application. Um, if that turns out positive, uh, we move on and we are uh, developing a matching lab panel that not only tracks the efficiency of the therapy but also the potential risks and that allows us to do risk management. And uh, the third step is to really develop a hands-on protocol um, that describes on how to do the, how to do the uh, treatment, uh, where to get, for example, your biologics, the stuff that you need, uh, everything that goes it. So all in all, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice package. It's a risk and benefit analysis. It's uh, providing transparency. Um, it's a lab panel, and it's a, a hands-on guide on how to do this. Um, we are uh, going to publish all this uh, uh, as open knowledge. So I'm like in the open source in the software. Um, so risk and benefit analysis panel and protocol will all be available for free for all the therapies that we are looking at. The idea is um, to empower medical doctors and clients worldwide who want to do these therapies and enable them um, to do the therapies at a really high quality level with a lot of transparency. And uh, we really want to provide high quality guidance. And a nice side effect uh, uh, that we uh, hope is going to happen since uh, this information is available for free and we enable doctors globally to, uh, to do these treatments, this will uh, raise the awareness because now in Brazil, everywhere on the planet, doctors can offer these treatments uh, on a really scientific basis and uh, this probably will help also accelerate the market a bit. Um, the first potential therapy that we, um, uh, that we picked to, uh, uh, to analyze is NAD plus res uh, um, restoration. NAD plus is a, a very important um, uh, thing in your energy metabolism. It goes down with age and it can be restored by various means to youthful levels. Um, this uh, is a, a hot topic right now in the rejuvenation community. Um, and uh, I, I found the information quite lacking when I was considering doing it myself. So what we did for the risk and benefit analysis of the, um, for NAD Plus is the team screened more than 2,000 papers that are available on NAD Plus. Um, we analyzed uh, all 40 human clinical trials and 140 uh, preclinical pre studies that, uh, that are available on the topic. Um, we did a multidimensional weighted analysis on the whole thing and uh, uh, the whole thing came down to 30 uh, mid to high uh, um, uh, impact benefits and six uh, major risks that come with the therapy um, that have to be addressed if you want to do the therapy. And um, the final risk and benefit analysis that will be available in July um, um, uh, is also including um, uh, suggestions, for example, on how to do risk management, under what conditions you can do the therapy, and so on. So, as I said, we're going to publish this for free and open source, but before we publish this to the general public, I'm really happy to announce something brand new, um, and this is for the first time. Um, uh, that is the Forever Healthy RFC portal. Um, RFC, um, for the guys who are from the tech community, stands for Request for Command. Basically, it's uh, our way to share current and upcoming work of Forever Healthy um, with, the selected, with selected members of the rejuvenation community to get feedback and to uh, enable high-level discussions and high-quality discussions uh, on the topics uh, of rejuvenation therapies. Um, Basically, what we are bringing to Rejuvenation Biotech is the same RFC process um, that the tech community uh, used to build the whole internet. Um, so this is our start. Um, we are starting um, the RF our RFC portal with the pre-publishing uh, of the NAD Plus Risk and Benefit Analysis. Um, it's going to be available this month. Um, 
The whole portal is uh, invitation only, so it's not open to the general public. Uh, it's handpicked members. Um, uh, everybody who wants to con uh, con uh, contribute in this community is invited. Just drop us an email on rfc at foreverhealthy.org. Um, we'd be happy to um, take you into the system and uh, yeah, to have a discussion. Once we are through, we got all the feedback, um, the valuable feedback from the community and the discussions, we can update the, um, um, the document and then publish it to the uh, global community. And this is also the process that we are going to follow with all the other stuff. For example, including we are currently developing a lab panel for NAD+, that also allows us to track the, the risk and also um, the benefits of NAD plus therapy. It's also going to be published to the portal and the protocol itself and all the other therapies that will follow. So um, that's what we're doing right now. Um, we have a small team internally at Forever Healthy. We are expanding that team um, now that we exactly know where we're going. We have two positions open for um, the team itself. It's one special, uh, specialist for evidence-based medicine and uh, scientific analyst for rejuvenation therapies. Basically what these people are doing is exactly what we're doing with, uh, <laughs> with, with uh, NAD plus and all the other therapies. Next, the next therapy, for example, we are working on or we start working on this week is physitin as a senolytics that would also include how to, me include to measure senolytics and all that stuff. Um, and the third position that is open right now is a PR and outreach specialist. So this is somebody um, uh, who might help us to spread the word about what we're doing. Um, so I think I didn't even use all of my time. So that, about, that was about it. That's the work of the Forever Healthy Foundation. Um, thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>